So this is 308 calibre rifle. So this is the same calibre rifle that I was trained on when I was a sniper in the Marines. Um, it's a pretty meaty bullet, packs a bit of a punch. This is probably something similar to the calibre that would be used at somewhere like Gatwick or a police marksman to then take down that drone. This range is now live, so if everyone can move back. When the drone reaches 300 metres, we turn its camera to face our position. I can hardly see the thing. When you look at the drone through the site, it's incredibly small. At the minute, it's got a, uh, um, a green backdrop so we can see it, and it's still fairly difficult to see, it's tiny. If the sky is anything like it is normally over the UK, it's gray and overcast like this. And that drone at 300 meters or 200 meters, you're not going to be able to see it. Never mind shoot at it. The thing, where is it? There we are. All right. I need to go a fair bit above it. So when you fly a drone and it's on GPS, the GPS is constantly moving it to keep it in position when the wind's buffing it. Um, and that little movement like that is enough to, um, for me to miss it. A moving drone at 300 metres is too tough to hit. So we bring it closer and stop moving it around so much, as if the operator has paused to decide what to do next. So what, what distance you got there? 200 exactly. 200. Let me do one more. Somewhere there. Yeah, that'll do. Got an error message on my drone. It says motor obstruction. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I've shot it down, yes, but it, it was difficult. It was harder, harder than I thought. On top of that, every single shot that I've taken here, the bullet has traveled into that bank for safety. This bullet here, if I was to fire it at that sort of angle there over that hill could easily travel for 10 miles and these will still kill on the way down so really is it a viable option to shoot a drone down with a rifle i would say not very <laughs> <laughs>